Hey folks, welcome to another edition of the Futures League Rundown. I'm your host, Ben Hayes. Last night was a phenomenal night of Futures League baseball, and our playoff picture is now set. All eyes were in Torrington last night for the last battle for Connecticut between the Bristol Blues and the Torrington Titans. Winner of the game gets their ticket punched to the playoffs. The loser has to pack their bags and go home. And the Titans would get the upper hand in this one. Malaki Iman of Albertus Magnus got the nod for Torrington, and he was dealing. Iman tossed for seven clutch innings, allowing only one run on five hits, while striking out four and picking up the win. Mike Foley of the University of Rhode Island played the heroics for the Titans, as the outfielder went yard in the second inning. He went two for four on the day with three RBIs and two runs scored. That would be all the offense that the Titans would need as they take this one to make the playoffs, winning 4-2. The Navigators took down the Seacoast Mavericks last night, 14-3. Southeastern's Mike Diaconti went deep for his third homer of the season. He would go 3-5 for five on the day with a double, 4 RBIs, and 2 runs scored. Framingham State's Al Wallach picked up the win for North Shore. He slung for 5.2 innings, allowing three runs on four hits and striking out two while picking up the win. But it wasn't all bad for the Mavericks last night. Jacob LaBelle of NYIT launched his 13th Yabo of the season in the sixth inning with a three-run blast to make him the home run king of the 2016 Futures League season, edging out Pittsfield's Eric Hamilton by one. Congrats to Jacob, looking to take advantage of the Seacoast loss with the Worcester Bravehearts. If Worcester could beat the Sharks, then they would claim the top overall seed in the playoffs. UConn's Mason Fiol made sure of that. Fiol tossed for six strong innings, giving up one run on six hits and striking out six Sharks. John Friday of Franklin Pierce provided some of the offense for Worcester, hitting a double in his 2-for-5 day and knocking in two runs. Bravehearts take this one 7-4 and get the one seed in the playoffs. The Dirt Dogs walked off on the rocks last night winning 6-5. TJ Ward of Hartford ended things with a walk-off single in the bottom of the ninth. Ward went 2-5 for five with two RBIs on the night. Ryan Ogren picked up the W for Wachusett for his inning pitched in the ninth. Ogren struck out one batter and allowed one walk and no hits in his shutout inning. Dirt Dogs ended the season on a three-game win streak. The Pittsfield Suns also picked up the win in their last game of the season, beating the Silver Knights 11-5. Gage Feeney of UMaine recorded the save for the Suns with his remarkable five innings of relief work, allowing no runs on just two hits and striking out three Knights. Kevin Donati went two for four in the game while walking twice with one run batted in and two runs scored. Now time for the player and pitcher of the night, brought to you by On Deck Sports, the official sponsor of the Futures League. And the On Deck Sports player of the night goes to Mike Diaconti of the North Shore Navigators, as the catcher from Southeastern went 3-for-5 on the night with a homer, a double, three runs batted in, and two runs scored, as the Navigators walloped on the Seacoast Mavericks winning 14-3. And the on-deck sports pitcher of the night goes to Gage Feeney of the Pittsfield Suns as the right-hander from the University of Maine went five innings strong in relief, allowing no runs on just two hits and striking out three while picking up the save. But now is the most magical time of the year, the Futures League Playoffs. The Worcester Bravehearts get the one seed. They went 36 and 18. Seacoast finished in second place, losing the tiebreaker to Worcester. The Mavericks also went 36 and 18. The Nashua Silver Knights get the three seed, going 34 and 21. The North Shore Navigators picked up the four seed, going 29 and 27. The Brockton Rocks are the five seed, going 27 and 29. And in the final playoff spot, the Torrington Titans get the six seed. They went 24 and 29 on the season. Tonight is round one of the playoffs featuring single elimination games between the three and six seeds and the four and five seeds. The North Shore Navigators will host the Brockton Rocks and Lynn at five. 
and in the other game tonight, the Silver Knights will host the Torrington Titans in Nashua, with first pitch being at 5.05 p.m. Worcester and Seacoast get a first round bye, but their second round matchups are yet to be determined. The Bravehearts will play the lowest remaining seed, and the Mavericks will play the highest remaining seed. So if the Knights win, then they will head to Seacoast to play the Mavericks, and the Bravehearts will host the winner of the Rocks Navigators game. However, if the Titans beat the Silver Knights, then Torrington will head to Worcester to play the Bravehearts, and Seacoast will face the winner of the Rocks Navigators game. Either way, drama-packed baseball will be played tonight. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Futures League Rundown. Hey, the places to be tonight are Lynn and Nashua as the two games are being played there. First round of the playoffs. Be sure to make it out there. And of course, give us the follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until next time, I'm your host, Ben Hayes. See you guys tomorrow.